Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and today, we are going to fix lag in game loop. I will show you some methods by which your game loop lag should be fixed, and you would be able to play games lag free, so let's get started with the video. So first, go into your Windows search box, and then search for graphic settings, then simply open it. Then here make sure desktop app is selected, and then click on browse. Then once you are here, go to this location. After you come to this location, scroll down and then select Android Emulator.exe, and then click on Add. Then click on Options, and then click on High Performance and click on save. Then again click on browse. Then here, scroll down and then select Android Emulator EN.exe. And then click on add. Then click on options, and then select high performance, and save it. For the next step, open file explorer. Then go to your C drive. Program files. TX Game Assistant. UI. Shader Catch. Then hit Ctrl plus A on your keyboard to select all the files. And then delete all of the files. Don't worry, these are just the unnecessary files slowing down your PC. Also make sure to delete these files from your recycle bin. Then for the next step, again go to your file explorer. C drive. Program files. TX game assistant. UI. Here, scroll down and then find Android emulator.exe. Right click on it and go to its properties. Then go to compatibility. Put a tick mark on these two options. Click on Change High DPI Settings, then put a tick mark on this option. Make sure application is selected, then click on OK. Click on Apply and OK. Then find Android Emulator EN.exe, and then do the same as we did for Android Emulator.exe. So guys for the next step, you need to download this file which is provided in the description of this video. Simply extract it after downloading. Then after extracting you will get a folder, simply open that folder. So first, open the clear junk files folder, and then run this file as an administrator, this will clear all of the temporary junk files present in your system. Then go back and then open the programs folder. Go to the memreduct folder, and then simply install this application. As you can see, whenever I click on clean now, my RAM usage significantly goes down, you can use it, whenever you feel your system has slowed down. Then go back, and open quick CPU folder, and install that application.
it is showing me this screen because I have already installed this software on my system. Once you have installed it on your system you will see this interface. Now here, drag all four of these bars to the right. Once you have done that, click on Apply and click on OK. Then you can exit out of this software. Then go back to Programs and again go back. After that, go to Ultimate Performance Power Plan folder and then run this file as an administrator. Then go to your search box and then type Edit Power Plan. Simply open it. Go to Power Options. Then here you will get a power plan called Ultimate Performance, make sure you select that. Now we will change some game loop settings, but first, click on these four lines, and then click Update Check to make sure that you are running on the latest version of game loop. Again click on these four lines, and then go to Settings. Here, follow my settings carefully. Untick Auto Run at Startup. Put a tick mark on height advanced watermarks. Then go to Engine. Make sure that you select DirectX 12 here. Uncheck Enable Rendering Cache. Put a tick mark on this option if you have a dedicated graphics card. Put a tick mark on Enable Vertical Sync. Set the anti-aliasing to off. Set the memory to half of your RAM and MVs. This should be according to your CPU cores. Resolution quality should be the lowest if you want best performance. Screen DPI should be set to 160. Then go to Model. Select Common Model, and then select ROG2. Then go to Game and select SD720P, and set the graphics quality to Smooth. Then click on Save. So guys, now we are done with all of the settings and optimizations, if your game loop lag is still not fixed then follow my optimization playlist found in the i button, and don't forget to like this video, if it did help you, you can ask me in the comments, if you have any questions queries or suggestions, bye.